Hey, good afternoon, YouTubers, Facebookers, party people alike. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please subscribe right down below, click the notifications, and if you're not going to do that for me, go ahead and just let the videos play, turn the volume down, then you won't have to listen to me yammer. If you got a question for me, you're more than welcome to hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair. I'll certainly try to answer your automotive. So real short and quick here, I want to get to down to what we're talking about. We've got a Jeep Liberty, and I've had about 10 of these things, and every single one of them, the driver's window will go down, but then you pull the switch and it won't go up. Now, I'm suspecting in this situation, I bought this vehicle at auction, so I don't really know the supreme history on it. Um, this window switch is broken. Now, a lot of times on these, just real quick, you'll have the passenger side window will not work from the gyro side switch. And that vi the video is really not about that. Do you have any other windows that aren't working with the exception of your master window on the driver's side door here, you want to go ahead and open up the door, cut this right here, this rib part apart, or you can simply pull it out and you'll find a broken wire in there. I've done about a dozen of them as well. So check that out first before you replace your switch if you do have any other windows that aren't working. And see if there's a wire in there. Simply fix the wire. Pretty easy stuff to be honest with you. I have another video up of that. A lot of people will go out and buy a $75 switch and that's what this switch cost to fix this problem. I will tell you, you can take it out and disassemble it and you can probably clean up the contacts and put it back together and not break it and let's face it you can't break what's already broken anyway so if your switch is doing this i highly recommend you take the switch out disassemble it look at it figure out how it works try to clean stuff up put it back together you have nothing to lose but a little bit of time but in this situation our window we pull it does nothing nothing so what you're going to do is and i'm going to try to demonstrate this is you're going to take your finger and you want to put it on the backside portion of the switch and you want to pull up now it doesn't work every time and obviously it's difficult for me to show you an angle where this does work but if I push down on the back of here and pull up on the front of here like it's supposed to that creates the contact and makes it work hopefully that's helpful for you guys god bless remember don't be the next of them be the first to you and if anybody else can do it you can too